Hi, my name is Ted Julian. I'm the VP of Marketing and Strategy for Application Security, Inc. We're a database security software vendor, and the topic today is the state of database security and its future. With over 100 million customer records compromised since the beginning of 2005, a lot of people are rightly asking the question of, um, what can we do to solve this problem? Because clearly the protections we have for uh, firewalling and intrusion detection and antivirus and, all the, and, and so forth are necessary, but they're not sufficient. We keep losing all this customer data. Um, and when customers look at that, I think they, they tend to say, well, we've got unstructured data that sits in the email systems and all sorts of applications. It's highly distributed. But then we also have our, uh, our, our structured data, which tends to sit in storage and, and in particular in uh, databases. Um, this fact is not lost on the attackers either, as they've gone pro, which is what's driven all of these break-ins and compromises of uh, of confidential information. They've changed their target. It's no longer about defacing websites to prove that you're capable of doing that. It's a lot more about finding data, finding large amounts of data that can be then turned into cash. And as a result, the targets have changed. And it's no longer just any web server I might find that I can compromise, but getting data in mass. And that clearly has put databases in the crosshairs, because after all, that's where data lives. It lives there in high volume. It lives there at the height of its value. And um, IT organizations, in fact, struggle to keep those systems highly up to date, highly available, uh, and all the rest. And um, in a nutshell, you know, that's what's uh, helped to sort of drive our business because we help customers um, apply the same vulnerability management best practices that they've really deployed over the last 10 years on their network and for their general purpose hosts. We help them ex to extend that best practice to include these databases, which are number one, a, a critical resource for them obviously, but as we've just talked about, also uh, a top target um, for the attackers. And in um, helping them extend that vulnerability management to these databases, they're able to both ground their security efforts in these mission critical systems, but at the same time ground their compliance efforts in these critical databases. Since after all, whether it's um, important financial transactions that may be part of, say, Sarbanes-Oxley or their financial regulatory requirements, or personal information that could relate to the payment card industry data security standard or um, other privacy standards, both in the U.S. and abroad. Uh, where does that data tend to live? It tends to live in the database, and as a result, it's sort of hard to imagine a thorough and grounded and repeatable compliance effort uh, for any of these initiatives that doesn't at least include some assessment of the controls uh, on the database. Um, namely, how we see customers go about that really is starting with uh, discovery. If you don't know what databases you have, where they are, what release they're running, um, it's hard to even know where to get started. Uh, um, where you might want to do encryption, where you might want to deploy activity monitoring. So that tends to be the first step, followed usually by a penetration test or an audit to determine the security posture of that system, how many vulnerabilities are present, at what level, what level of severity, so that they can prioritize their efforts. Having done that, they'll then start to remediate those issues, deploy patches, change default IDs and passwords that are still uh, present on those systems, um, and then finally do some real-time monitoring to not only catch insider threats, where if you and I are the DBA, we don't need to uh, run buffer overflow XYZ, we've got all the access in the world, so you need to be able to catch that stuff. Uh, but also, and this is particularly germane to databases, to um, help uh, manage that critical gap between the availability of a patch, say, for Oracle, and your ability to deploy it. Since after all, on these mission critical databases, this will take some time. Um, those systems in the fourth quarter, if you're a retailer, you don't look at them funny. Uh, so patching could take a year or more for any given patch level. So the ability to monitor intelligently as you're rolling out these patches progressively across your infrastructure is, is crucial. And then the final leg on the stool is uh, encryption uh, at the column level on the production database so that if all else fails, someone is able to compromise these systems, you can provide that level of protection for, for your most sort of sensitive data. So that's where we see sort of the market today is that Organizations have gotten their arms around the fact they need to do something about database security. They understand that encryption, while necessary, is at most a leg on the stool. They've also figured out, I think, over the past 18 months that um, it's hard. It takes time um, to figure out the performance impact, 
how you're going to do your key management, that type of thing. And where we really see the next year going is people continuing with those encryption efforts at the database, but leaning even more heavily on their vulnerability assessment and their activity monitoring since they can get quick value uh, out of those deployments much more quickly actually than they can in encryption. You actually see this in some of the standards where they're creating compensating controls that encourage these efforts because crypto is so difficult. Um, at a higher level, I think this is all about bringing security to the data. That's certainly a big theme here at the RSA show. Um, and again, when you think about that, databases are the obvious place to start since it's sort of the low-hanging fruit that allows you to deal with that most sensitive information in mass in a relatively uh, straightforward fashion as opposed to trying to deploy monitoring on a million systems where data may, may exist.